I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student and I hope its solution will help you. The ambassador bridge is a suspension bridge. The two towers that support the center span of cables rise 118 meters above the river and are 564 meters apart. The cables reach its lowest point approximately 46 meters above the river. Determine an equation to represent the curve of the cable in the form of y equals to a times x minus r times x minus s if possible. So let's first sketch what information is given to us. Most of the information is pertaining to height above the river. So let this blue line be the river itself. So we have two towers which are 118 meters high. So let's say these are the two towers from where the cable is suspended. So that's the cable. Okay. And uh, let's say this is 118. And 46 meters, the cable reaches at its lowest point approximately 46 meters above river. So that 46 meters is above river. So from here. And the span of this is 564. All the units are in meters. We want to write an equation in terms of factored form. How can we do it? So let us say that height h is in meters above river. Okay. So we want to measure all the height above the river. If I want to make factored form, I'm looking for zeros, right? Because whenever you multiply these factors, you get zeros. So it means I have to go up by 118. So what I will do here is I can write height h as equals to 118 plus all this, right? So we could do it like this. We could do 118 plus. Now we are at this level. Do you see that? And then we can say a times x minus. And if I choose my origin at, uh, let's say, okay, uh, let me use, okay, so I'll choose my origin along this line right so kind of like this do you see that so that's my origin so from here 118 is the height of the tower so the maximum height of the cable is this minimum is 46 over the water level do you get it so so if I add 118 I'm already at this point now from this point it comes to zero right so I can say at my zero, I'm zero times X minus 564, which will be that point, 564. So that gives me a factored form of the equation. Do you realize that? Now, this 46 will be right at the center. So what is half of 564? Let's divide it. Divide by two gives us 282. So this point is actually at 282, the height is 46. Do you see that? That's the minimum. So if I substitute 282 here for x, my height should be 46 above water level. So we get 46 equals to 118 plus a times, this is just x, 282 in this case, times 282 minus 564 right so that is we can take away 118 from here so 46 minus 118 is equals to a times 282 times this is also 282 with a negative sign so 46 minus 118 is how much let's do it 46 minus 118 is equals to minus 72 so this is minus 72 uh, and we can divide this by minus 282 square, right? So that is 282 square. 
So let's divide, now minus minus cancels out. So we get a positive value of A. So A should be 72 divided by 282 square. And that is 2 over 2209, okay. So that's the value of A. And therefore, we can write height as equal to 118 plus 2 over 2209 times x times x minus 564, correct? So x minus 564 will always be a negative term. So we'll be subtracting from 118 to get the height of the cable. Do you see that? So that is how you could write uh, the or model the situation in factored form. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thanks and all the best.